What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up Windows XP on a virtual PC. Alright, there's two things that you need. You need a uh, you need a Windows XP uh, boot disk and you need Microsoft Virtual Machine. I will post a link to that in the description of the video. Alright, so after you do that, you need to uh, you need to run Microsoft Virtual PC. Double click it, it'll load. You go to new and welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. Next, you want to go to uh, create a virtual machine. Next, and then you can type uh, win x P. type win xp so windows xp all right then you click next operating system of course windows xp and it already has it set the default ram to be 128 megabytes and i'll show you how to increase that the virtual disk is uh, 65,536 megabytes which is about 16 gigs or so so you click next and then if you want to adjust the RAM, you click adjust the RAM and then you can slide or you can go over here and type in a number. So I'm going to about 512. Alright, there. Did about 512 RAM. Alright, so you hit, oh. You hit, uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, next. And you want to do a new virtual hard disk. A new virtual hard disk next and this is the uh, path location that it's going to set up alright so next and has all your settings and finish alright so right here you want to start the uh, hold on ah you want to start when XP so you click start of course and it's gonna it's not gonna have anything or yeah it is it's gonna check for something to boot into and it's not gonna find anything so you need to open your disk drive and uh, put your CD in alright so you uh, put in the Windows XP disk sorry about that my phone started ringing alright put that in and this will start or you can go to action and reset and reset and it'll do this and it will boot from the CD hopefully uh, Or you can do it again, action, reset, reset. Come on. Alright, now it's going to do it. And so set up and inspecting your computer's hardware configuration. Yeah, this is going to take forever. Windows setup right there. Alright, now you just follow the instructions and do your options and you will have successfully installed Windows XP on a virtual machine. So I'm just going to turn this off and that's how you do it. Alright, thanks for watching.